Hi, it's been a journey to get to this kitchen to where it is and part of that journey has been with elegant fittings and finally after visiting the factory, watching the cutting, being here listening to zzzz for a while, <laughs> the man from elegant fittings, the point man, the bazoo is with me, Nicholas Joget. Now here's the truth, I'm surprised you actually came on my invitation because the rumor has been that there isn't a site that you install you don't go and see. Now I believe it's true. Mm -hmm. Where do you find the time? I make it a point to visit, if not all, mm. most of the sites that we visit. Wow. I mean, install. It doesn't matter where it is. Really? I've gone as far as uh, Kisumu. Mm. In Nairobi, we've gone even to Kayole. Nice. Yes, in South Sea. Elegant fittings is in Kayole. Yes, Kayole Mumeskia. shopping mall. Uh -huh. yeah. In South Sea, in Buruburu, in Maradaima. Wow. We've gone all the way to the river, uh -huh. Kitengela, Rongai. So it's across. It's not only Westlands and Kilele, uh, uh -huh. those areas within us. So finally you walked in and I saw you inspecting the work. What do you think? I have to touch. <laughs> <laughs> I have to touch and look. So what do you think? I love it. Yeah? Uh, it actually looks like it was actually installed yesterday because it looks clean and Perfect. That's such an important point. Can I just, this was installed three months ago. Mm. Nicholas has not been able to fit me into his schedule for three months. We <laughs> have eaten here, poured things here, cleaned this place, and it looks like this. Actually, it's very important. Wambi, ini, nini. What, what stone is this? So what we have here is called Decton Danai. Here, okay, watcha. Uh-huh. Yes. It's, Even I didn't know. if I have to go into the detail. details, it's a sintered stone. Jiringe. Uh -huh. A sintered stone. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix of uh, porcelain with glass and quartz all brewed together to make a slab. Nice. And it's got all the qualities, which this is the improved version of the natural stone. Mm -hmm. In the sense of that it's a harder material. So it gives us a material which is much more difficult to scratch. Oh. It's completely non-porous. It's a material which can be used both indoor and outdoor, so mm -hmm. it's not affected by the UV rays. Mm -hmm. And it's also heat resistant to a higher degree than the deck tones, I mean, than the scissor stones and the granites, the natural stones. Because, you know, in a kitchen in Kenya mm -hmm. and in Africa, we are rough. So we want a material that can be able to withstand that. that. We pour, we cut on it. Yeah. We kachumbari kidogo. Turmeric, turmeric. I was going to say turmeric, turmeric. <laughs> yes, Wine. and then you don't end up yeah. with this beginning to have stains of yellow. It happens with other materials. Uh -huh. If a material is porous, mm. it will absorb. It has to. And once it absorbs, you're screwed because it's permanent. That's true. So three months of living, and actually we live here. This uh -huh. island is where life happens in this house. However, um, I'm glad I was persuaded to get away from the Caesar stone I was in love with, mm -hmm. which is the first time I met Nicholas, by the way. <laughs> Elegant Fittings did my first kitchen as well. Um, and I'm glad I did not come to the showroom. The first time? The first time. <laughs> because yeah. I still think nobody should make a decision without coming to a showroom. Mm -hmm. um, because when we see a sample, yeah. I think we see something about the it's size of bigger my... than your phone. Yes. And also what happens most of the time, the designers are the ones who will choose for you the material. Mm -hmm. So somebody will get to see what was actually chosen for them in a large format yes. when we come to install. Yes. It's the first time they see the whole slab. Exactly. Exactly. But, so, but you also know why I was glad I didn't come. <laughs> Being confused. Yes. You will get confused. It's important to have an idea of, say, if you have like your kitchen is black, mm -hmm. you need to know, mm -hmm. do you want a black surface or a dark color or you want to go the light color the contrast is very important here contrast is important yes also natural light is important yes it's extremely important yes. and what you have on the floor mm -hmm. has to the kitchen everything has to marry yes from what you have on the floor on the cabinets the on the worktop high levels the paint everything mm. has to flow uh -huh. it has to then you can be able to execute and get this because the designers they're the ones who the start face is the designers of course they will design and give you the colors for the cabinets mm -hmm. and probably the color of the floor. Uh -huh. 
Then as guys we come in, mm -hmm. we follow their lead. Mm -hmm. We only get to help you choose if we find that, okay, maybe the designer wanted this particular color, but you have got like three or different shades within that range that help okay. you and enhance the look even more. I like it. Visit the showroom. I'm just saying visit the showroom. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing, and I have to say this, I remember seeing a green stone. <laughs> was, uh, wait, Esmeralda? It's the name of a girl. Yes. That thing is beautiful. Yeah. Where is it used? That is a unique stone uh -huh. and we bring in stones which are like rare uh -huh. because once we finish that esmeralda green mm -hmm. we might not get that again because it's such a rare stone to oh. get you understand mm -hmm. right now we have uh, another concern that's coming in of some beautiful not seen before granites mm -hmm. one is called maori mm -hmm. another one is called uh, titanium uh -huh. And then there's also another stone which my supplier just sent me this week. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most rare stones to get. Mm -hmm. And we only have like a limited edition of it mm -hmm. because you know that things we come in limited edition. Yes. So I told them bring it in because what Kenyans we are just normally given uh, blacks. Blacks, greys. Blacks, greys and, and, uh, and shimmer I pink. Oh, what you is, had, is, <laughs> is that what it's called? Shimmer pink. <laughs> what you had, what your granny had and uh, your, your mom, mom had. had I and, know what you mean. And yeah. I, I hear, and I remember being in your showroom and being introduced to your granite. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I mean, I'm not a granite person because, mm. I mean, that is my mom, my grandma. Yeah, yeah. And I was told, ah, our granite is yes. different. Yeah. Tell me. Before COVID, mm -hmm. I'll personally go to Brazil and okay. choose the slabs mm -hmm. we can bring okay we can bring the affordable range mm -hmm. and we can bring a range whereby guys it has that feel that you don't want to have a stone whereby your next door neighbor has you okay. want to be different and unique of course so we actually i used to go and choose the stones myself and i'm like i want this and i want this and i want this mm -hmm. because that's just the way to give guys a better a better service or a better product that True. they're not used that they're yeah. not used to mm -hmm. so of course, now I don't go to Brazil because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So now you're using, uh, they send me on WhatsApp and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, the stones which are out there, mm -hmm. they're so beautiful. We want to give guys solutions mm -hmm. that when they go to Pinterest, mm -hmm. if they see that on Pinterest, they can find it from Elegant. <laughs> because Pinterest is not the way that everyone... It's how we choose things. It's how we dream. It is. It, it is, is how we dream. And why can't we bring your dreams to reality? I'll tell you a dream I hadn't dreamed, but you brought to reality between yourself and Kitchens and Beyond. The stone in our second kitchen, the scullery, yeah. that is the... That's the Arga. Most people would use that in a bathroom. It works beautifully in that kitchen because it's the kitchen that is used the most, yes. the kitchen that has the most mess. Yes. And I'm telling you, when we're done and we clean up, it looks as good as new. Exactly. I, I was, I, I, I didn't say anything, but I was like, <laughs> You're a bit hesitant, right? I was, no, I was like, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. let me tell you when it was done yeah. and also cleaning. What I love about this is that chopping, I mean, you yeah. can chop directly on that surface. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Scratch proof. Yeah. I'm not kidding you guys. Yeah. But what, I mean, how do you persuade a person who thinks only one way to say try? Because you can't also do tries X. Yeah. It has it's to true. work. It's how true. do you do it? Like I said, that's part of the reason why I like visiting sites and okay. talking to clients as much as possible mm -hmm. is to understand where do you want to use this product and for what? Mm -hmm. Because we'll advise you. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you tell me, like in your kitchen, you want us to do marble, mm -hmm. I'll tell you if you want us to use it on the walls, it's okay. Mm -hmm. On the worktops, don't do it. Mm -hmm. For the simple reason, it's porous and mm -hmm. it's soft. Now we go to granites. Mm -hmm. Granites, most of them are porous. <coughs> Here. We do not apply a sealant on it. Mm -hmm. We just remove it from the quarry straight into your surface and use it. Mm -hmm. So most of the materials, the granites, they are porous, mm -hmm. but ours, we, we've gone a step ahead. Mm -hmm. There's a treatment that our supplier puts on the stone itself mm -hmm. and makes it non-porous. <coughs> we call it the sensor treatment. Okay. Yeah. You shall see it. I mean, tell me when you're going to Brazil again. <laughs> I'll direct you to the factory. <laughs> mm -hmm. You go to see for yourself. Uh -huh. So we have to understand the client, what they want. Mm -hmm. Once we understand what they want, then it's our, it's our duty to give them a product that fits within their, 
their interest mm -hmm. and their needs and we give them the solution. Oh, got you. Got you. Also, we'll also tell our clients, mm -hmm. different materials have got different strengths and weaknesses. True. Remember that. In, if there, we have clients that want absolutely white. Wow. Uh-huh. Plain white, uh -huh. nothing, absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful stone. Mm. We've installed it in hot, hot, uh, hot, hot kitchen and the cold food preparation kitchen in do sit in hotels. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. The thing we tell them about is that white stone mm -hmm. is easier to get dirty. It is. You understand? Yes. It will show that easier than uh -huh. any other material. Uh huh. Also, the thing about the scissor stones and the granites and the decton. Mm -hmm. With, with most of the stones, when you're chop, chopping on them, mm. this one doesn't really get affected mm -hmm. at all. Uh -huh. Some granites can get affected, mm -hmm. some don't. Mm -hmm. Same for the quartz. Uh -huh. it, ca it can get affected mm -hmm. and some don't. Mm -hmm. So of course, you always tell our clients, if you have a chopping board, use it. The offcut that you get from here, mm -hmm. from, your, from your hob and from your sink, mm -hmm. we're able to make for you a nice cheese plate, a nice chopping board, mm -hmm. and those are things you lose. Okay. We just don't throw them away, you've paid for them. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. Now, talking about cutting, and I don't want to give away all the secrets because I'm not quite sure what would make somebody visit the factory. For me and your showroom was watching the stone being cut. And in the case of this one, <laughs> <laughs> it's an overnight process. It's a long process. It's, I mean, cutting stone is not a joke. Ah, it's not easy. Anyone who tells you that... He cuts it naweza, naweza, naweza. Nimekuja leo, nimelipa, uneza nifungia kesho. By the way, Apana, msifanya ivo. You'll also make me look bad. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and I think, uh, for me, that was definitely visiting. But, there is a thing you do that I will ask people to look out for. You know, mm. you're seamless. Mm. By the way, this is not one slab. I just want you to know. Hapa, kukuta. Yeah, there's a joint. There are two. Mm, there's a joint, yeah. There are two. Mm. You can't see it unless you're looking for it. Mm. They did it in my first kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I tried to watch this time round, yeah. nothing doing. Yeah, and yeah. I realize you also look for the natural seam with my cabinets. That's something that we have to look out for. But, but, and that, and, and I have to say this, I know I've said it in a previous video, I'm going to say it again. When elegant fittings say, and then we are coming to measure, yeah. don't say you already have the diagrams from, let them. There is no way to achieve this if Jehia doesn't come to do his. And it takes him about half a day, and he was doing two kitchens. Yeah, yeah. He, we need to check like where the joints will be yes. that's extremely important how to hide the joint yes also we check if the kitchen is leveled and what problem could be there that can be solved before the installation team yes comes. because sometimes if you've got to work work out something here to exactly. level it out exactly and also get feedback from me on okay your kitchen is handleless so mm -hmm. we'll do an overhang of this much i was being asked when it came to this yes um, your oh. guys even asked me what sort of corners I wanted. Yes. And I said, I have short people. Yeah. They will grow, yeah. but I have small exactly. people. Exactly. I, I, and I think this is so important. And I say this because of my experience. I can't tell anybody yeah. about any other experience. The first time you did a kitchen for me, and then your guys came in to measure, I was like, but newly what to me are drawings, yes. na measurement. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that and also because you have a cutting machine yes that will only cut yeah. according to to the measurements to the measurements they input yeah that That's thing is beautiful way. to watch though <laughs> yeah how old is elegant fittings from 2006 so he yeah we didn't start with scissor stone uh -huh. we started with that completely different material Cultured marble. Long story. Really? <laughs> the market completely rejected it from what? 2006 till 2011. And why did you start with cultured marble? All right. <laughs> I if, mean, if, if you go back. <laughs> Ooh, Nicholas. If you go back and you tell me how much time I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me. Let's, because mm. there's a story here that reminds us that maybe we shouldn't outrightly just reject something because it's not what we know. Yeah. Uh-huh. So... We used to cut uh, building stones. Mm -hmm. This one's from Georgia. 
mm -hmm. and will generate a lot of dust mm -hmm. and waste. Mm -hmm. So when you're sitting there wondering now, what do we do with all this dust? Because the trash will just carry it through, carry it through. Oh. So then we're wondering how do we recycle the dust mm -hmm. and make something useful out of it. So <clears throat> Melda Bro, we approached the American Embassy. Mm -hmm. We told them uh, this is what you're thinking of doing and we need help. Mm -hmm. So he went to the States. Mm -hmm. And then he was taught how to recycle the dust and make a tile. Wow, uh-huh. So he came back and then I went. Uh-huh. We tried, we tried, we tried. Mm -hmm. We were not able to achieve that really good tile that mm -hmm. we thought the market will accept. Mm -hmm. So we changed the material a bit mm -hmm. and now it was able to make the tiles and we were able to make worktops. Okay. Marble worktops. Marble worktops. Yes, that's what's called cultured marble. <laughs> we'll make a mold mm -hmm. and make because it's, it's a mold so mm. the stone will flow and take any shape he gave oh. it oh so why was that rejected because it's a soft material if you leave and do this with your keys it will scratch <laughs> okay well then i understand <laughs> yeah we'll make we used to make sinks uh kitchen sinks worktops bathtubs mm -hmm. Uh, these ones we never attempted because the stone was just too soft, too soft to, yes. to scratch yes. and what have you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a headache because I remember approaching all the ceramic companies in this market of ours. And they said, no. Nah. Uh, we can't afford the things. It's too soft. This, mm -hmm. this, this. Yeah, it was a headache. Mm -hmm. So 2008, mm -hmm. I approached one of the companies in the States again. I told them this material is not working. Mm -hmm. There's another material you guys have launched mm -hmm. and I want it. Uh, they said they're not interested in the Kenyan market at that particular point in time. 2010, uh. Google helped me a lot. <laughs> so I was Googling again and then I stumbled into Scissorstone. All right. So the same email I sent to Scissorstone is the same one I sent to the company in the States. Uh huh. As fate will have it, the, Scissorstone wrote back to you. the VP of international sales were going to Tanzania to look for new business. And? So he came over, that was in 2010. Mm -hmm. He was like, fine, let me come. I'll, Tanzania and Kenya, your neighbors, I'll just cross over. So mm -hmm. he came, saw what you are struggling with. He mm -hmm. said, if you're serious, follow me to Israel. And then you meet the whole team. Follow me to <laughs> Israel, Ivo too. Ivo too. Uh -huh. So me, I followed him. I remember sitting in my, I'm here, and then they're like, five mzungus, five mzungus, on a boardroom. <laughs> Very young at that particular point in time, and I still am young. And I was like, okay, I want a material that is uh, extremely difficult to scratch, mm -hmm. a material that can bend, mm -hmm. I'll come to that, a material that the joints are almost invincible, if not invincible, okay. and a wide array of colors. Wow. For the simple reason that I knew if I bring granite, mm -hmm we will not be able to do well because the granite market was controlled. Mm -hmm. We know who are the biggest architects, developers. Yes, so we know. they owned that. They owned that. <coughs> and that's how we started the scissor stone. Wow. A lady from South Africa helped me to pick the first container. We brought it in, uh, damaged 89 slabs because you didn't Out know Out of how many? Doing. Out of 89. <laughs> it was a learning curve. You damaged 89 slabs out of 89. Yeah. That's a whole consignment. It's a whole consignment. We were given a <coughs> conference table to make. Mm -hmm. uh, it took us six months because it was complicated. The guy wanted four diamond shaped things and then a white border in the middle. And the, it was four gray triangles with a white line in the middle. Six months. Me up and pick up, pick up, pick up, three days of cutting. We really struggled. And we had to bend it. We, we know how to bend stone. I, I once again, <laughs> visit <laughs> the showroom. We know how to make stone take some different shapes. This can bend, I saw it. I'm telling you, you can do some fancy things with stone, which has allowed us to do some uh, really interesting uh, work. work for so many different clients. So many different clients. So, six months later, did you deliver the table? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. To <laughs> uh, ten floors. <laughs> oh gosh, that's the hardest thing. These stones are heavy. I also saw that, and I did not appreciate it once again mm. until I came to the showroom. Yeah. Because you see, when in my first kitchen, when they were cutting, they were cutting out in the garden. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, zzz, zzz, mask, ni, 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 mm. and I was like, hey, yeah. you're cousin in Gumu. Yeah. But 
until you see the edge of this thing mm. and you see three to four yeah. carry a slab and that slab is like half of this. Mulipeba. Namkuangusha. I really appreciate the work our employees do. No, I do too. They really go over I'm glad and I'm above. meeting you last. Yeah, yeah. They go over and above to make sure they give their best. Because I always say this, it doesn't matter where your house is. Mm -hmm. It can be here in Konza. Mm -hmm. It can be in Karen. Mm -hmm. It can be in Kitengela. It in doesn't South really sea. matter. In South Sea. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. What we tell all our staff is each and everything you do, be it kitchens or bathrooms or mm -hmm. fireplace, mm -hmm. do it your best because do it like it's your house. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you want the best for yourself. Mm -hmm. So likewise, you should want the best for our clients. True. And this is something I keep on telling them every day and at least guys have appreciated it. And we make sure we give them the right tools for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. We support them as much as we can, mm -hmm. provide them with what they need. Pay them well, of course. Of course. Because nobody wants to do such a heavy work and you're not, Wait, you're hungry. I, I <laughs> you understand? Uh, well, doesn't work. And that's part of the reason why, because we invested a lot in machinery mm -hmm. and getting the best stones that we can be able to source. Mm -hmm. Our materials vary in terms of prices, in mm -hmm. terms from the cheap ones to the most expensive. So mm -hmm. we give you like a selection, you choose what you want. Mm -hmm. But we will not give you like, a, because you chose a cheap stone, we'll give you like an inferior service as no, opposed to no. somebody who's taken the... No. I, I can say that is a fact about yeah. elegant fittings. Yeah. Actually, I want to round up this conversation mm -hmm. by um, talking about the range. I remember standing in your, um, in your reception area, because yeah. that's the place where you display, yeah. and being told, that one is... <laughs> Listen, listen. <laughs> Stores can go from yeah. No, the yes. bottom sema yes. from. You want me to say sema from <laughs> they to can go a from, from from nine thousand linear meters. Yes. Yeah. To. To a lot. <laughs> we have stones that are the semi precious. Now those are the the. Rolls Royce. Yes. When it comes to stones. And he has them. Yeah. They quoted me one that was almost a meter. <laughs> yeah. And they told me, and Ikonamutu, Nawatu. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Actually, we have a couple coming in, a beautiful blue. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it the blue agate. Mm -hmm. And we have the gray agate, beautiful mm -hmm. stones. We'll remove this island and put for you a nice brown one. Mm -hmm. you love it. And then we put some lights inside it, and then it glows. <gasps> this and is how you end up redoing a house you've just done. <laughs> no, 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 because I didn't want you to leave this conversation with Nicholas and thinking, oh, there's this, there's that, there's this. No, mm. no, explore. Yeah, oh, explore. A gut, you called it. Yes. Mean up in interest. Nina Google, eh? Give guys options. What do you love best? Other, I, I saw your face light up the minute you walked in here and I was like, look at your work, my friend. I may have to touch. I look so for, you touch. I have to touch. Mm -hmm. I, my hand has to go through. I look. If I feel anything that should not be there, mm -hmm. I'll take note of it mm -hmm. and somebody will come and sort it out. Wow. Yeah. I've told my guys and they know it. Mm -hmm. You can install something. The client will come and say, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. The designers will come and say, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. The day I'll pass by and I pass and I find and you something. And do this. And Munarudi. Munarudi. Okay. And we've done that in so many places. And that is the elegant fittings mm. promise. We do it. Yes. Mm. Now I can let you inspect again no fanya even throughout <laughs> the house in case what what are Rudy. <laughs> if they don't come back, mm. I'll let you know, but I don't think they're coming back. Yeah. Visit Elegant Fittings. Thank you. Thank you for your patience, your passion, because you're passionate about stones. <laughs> and thank you for opening my eyes to the world of stone and my audiences as well. You're most welcome. Thank you, Nicholas. Sansana. See you at Elegant Fittings.